The kind of music that I was listening to, exposed to and singing dramatically changed in many ways uh, in my 20s versus what I was doing as a child or as a teenager. Now, one of the biggest factors was, of course, my playback break. And since a lot of my exposure in terms of film was largely Hindi, not so much Tamil, I kind of used this as an opportunity to participate as, an, and many, as many things as I could and also improve my repertoire. So on one hand, I was listening to a lot of Chitraji songs, Sushila Ma songs, Jan Kyama songs, Elari Shwariyama songs, SPB Sir songs. Uh, and it, this, this kind of stuff was on a loop because I really was very excited about this music. I wasn't too exposed to it um, um, as a kid and I really wanted to improve my repertoire. So this was going on on one side. While I of course continued to sing four films for incredible um, musicians and directors like Deva Sir. That was of course my playback break. Of course A.R. Rahman Sir, Raja Sir, um, Vidya Sagar Sir, Bharadwaj Sir, D. Iman and a very long list of incredible musicians. So while this was going on, I also decided to train in Western Classical, that was only for a year. So I was part of a choir and I was doing one-on-one -on -one training. And I began for the very first time Hindustani Classical training. And there was a lot of listening exercises that I did uh, thanks to my mentor's guidance. And I was listening to artists like Kishori Amonkar, um, Sanjeeva Bhayankar, um, Rashid Khasawa, I was a big, big, big fan. So that list was also quite long. So there was a lot of listening and especially to stuff that I wasn't really exposed to as a kid and it was quite an incredible experience.